Yeah, you can uh, you can hear the entire house. Omni mics, Omni mics. I'm back with another field recording episode. Today we're looking at compact little Omni mics that are the sibling to the Clippy mic, the Pluggy mics. Pluggy. It's 87% nerdy stuff, and it's coming right up. So, good day and welcome to the Time Preservation Society. I'm Chucky. For it is still the month of Halloween. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can be notified of new content right when it drops. So I got sent a box of awesome goodies from Fell Communications, and it's going to take me a while to get through it all. Special thanks to Nick Roast over at Fell for sending me these all the way from UK. It's like a goodie bag, but for super nerds. So if you're a fan of this channel, you've probably heard me talk about Clippy Mics many, many times. And for good reason. They're my favorite Omni field recording mics of all time, bar none. They're small yet robust and handmade to last. Handmade. I love it. I reviewed the Clippies a while back, and uh, there you can see uh, that if you haven't seen it already. Um, but uh, if you uh, spend some time at Fell Communications' website, uh, micbooster.com, you'll notice that they have a lot more cool stuff than just the Clippies. One of those cool stuffs is the Pluggy mics, which are very similar to the Lom Basic Uko mics that I reviewed right here. Later on, we'll compare the two. The difference right off the hop is that the Pluggies are usually always in stock, whereas the Basic Ukos are harder to get. Which reminds me, I'd like to take a moment right now to tell you a little story as told to me by Nick Roast, the owner of Fell Communications that makes Clippy and Pluggy. I like to call this story the tale of Fellum. Our story opens up in the small English setting known as the Isle of Wight, all the way back to 2014, which incidentally was interstellar and a million ways to die in the West ago. Anyway, back in May of 2014, Nick received an order for a pair of matched Primo EM172 capsules. They're the uh, magic capsules found in the Clippies. The order was for bare capsules from a customer that was based in Bratislava, Slovakia. Before long, Nick received another similar order, which resulted in an email exchange with the eager Slovakian customer who continued to buy many more matched pairs of the EM172 capsules. Many orders for these highly sought after capsules continued to come in for some time before finally mysteriously halting. That Slovakian customer was none other than Jonas Gruska, now owner of Loam Instruments. Since then, both Fell and Loam have each introduced a quite similar range of microphones using the Primo capsules, though it is said that Loam now uses PUI capsules for some of their current products. So I suppose Fell helped start Loam in a way. It's also fun to report that a little friendly rivalry exists between Fell and Loam, and I think that's awesome. Two super awesome small European companies who know each other and respectfully compete in the world of field recording. If you ask me, I'm a fan of both companies, and I have the utmost respect for each great little big company. And that's the tale of Fellom. Anyway, pluggies are small omni mics that can be plugged directly into your recorder without the need of a cable, or you can use a cable and extend them. Wait, why am I explaining this with only just words? 
Let's take a closer look at them, shall we indeed? They're small and cute and little and tiny. They're an engineered Nutric connector with a mic capsule built into them. But not just any mic capsule. It's got the Primo EM272 electric condenser capsules in there. We're talking the same low noise and high sensitivity excellence that are in the Clippies. They've got these little fabric covered holes at the top here where the capsules are located and with no switches or knobs on the body. Very simple design. They are XLR terminated and require phantom power to operate. They're sized just right so they'll fit into most shotgun mic shock mounts. So really easy mounting options. They weigh in at 33 grams each. So they're wicked light. Each one measures, oh, hold on a second. Let me just find my trusty old measuring tape here. <laughs> you know, this measuring tape was handmade by Dr. Egon Spengler sometime in the late 1970s. He used it to measure out his nuclear accelerator proton packs before building them. I picked it up in uh, New York City back in 84. <laughs> back in 84. Anyway, each pluggy measures 70 millimeters long with a diameter of just over 20 millimeters. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, because I should have said this at the beginning, I've been using, right up here, I've been using a pluggy this entire time. Now, uh, I would never choose to use an Omni mic to do a, uh, you know, talking head type of thing. Uh, but you'll see later when I went out trying to test these out, I was having a hard time uh, finding really good sounds to record. So I thought, you know what? Better use this so you can really get a feel for what they sound like. Now, this mic is picking up everything. I'm hearing, I don't know if you can. It's like my stomach. There's that. You can hear it. It's like a transport truck convention going on outside. I mean, it's picking up literally everything. I don't know if you can hear that. But uh, <clears throat> for the next part, you should probably put on headphones so you can actually hear a couple of these uh <laughs> what I did uh, when I went out to test them. They are very, they are almost identical to the Clippies, and I love the roundness of the sounds. Really, you'll, you'll see. Because I, I had a chance to, you know, take these pluggies out in the field to test them out. So anyway, I should roll the footage uh, that I did get. So apologies that I didn't get what I wanted to get, but, uh, but I got some stuff. So let's roll that uh, footage right now. So uh, you're hearing me in, in front. Uh, sorry, I'm so underdressed for the occasion. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I went all over the place for a few days looking for some good water sounds, but there's just been no wind. Probably there's going to be wind now, but um, anyway. Car. I found a gravel area that's... Uh, gravelly to give it a test and uh, yeah yeah so, <clears throat> so this is the uh, pluggies that you're hearing right now the pluggies let's uh, let's try the basic gucos Okay, so now you're hearing the basic googles. I had to turn the gain down quite considerably. Uh, 
so they have much more gain on the basic Gucos. Let's hear some cars and stuff. And let's walk around till a car comes, and then we'll hear a car, and then... Was that enough car? I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows. I'll find out though. Ooh, we've got long shadows. Let's do a Indiana Jones shot against the garbage. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so again, apologies for that. Uh, I was really going to the water and there was just no lapping waves anywhere. Everything was super calm for two days that I went out and I was running out of time and I really wanted to get this done. So, um, you know, uh, I'll try it again. But for this video, I think you can hear how good they sound. They are good. Take my word for it. It's interesting to note that the maximum sound pressure level of the basic Uko is 110 decibels and the pluggy is 119 decibels. So the pluggies can handle sources that are a bit louder. And as you can tell between both of them, um, I mean, I could right away, number one, that you didn't need as much gain on the basic Ucos. However, the basic Ucos really had an accentuated high end, if you could tell. The highs were really extra accentuated. So sizzly. And um, the pluggies here are rounded and have a, you know, a basier, like rounder, more robust bottom end. Um, I don't know if that was demonstrated to you, you know, from what you saw and heard, um, but they definitely have that, you know, really rounded, nice sound. So there you have it. The Pluggy Omni Mics. And what a name for them, too. Clippies because they clip on things. Pluggies because they plug into things. I mean, those are names that only a British fellow would come up with. I love it. So let's talk price. The great thing about Fell Communications is their pricing and availability. The Clippy XLR mics, the Clippy ones, are priced at around 137 British pounds for a pair of them. The pluggies are priced at just 130 uh, for a pair of them. That's only about 158 US dollars for a matched pair of pluggies. That's it. You can grab one or a matched pair of pluggies by going to www.mikebooster.com. I'll, uh, I'll put a direct link in the description below. Uh, I love handmade stuff. And I really love handmade stuff that is attainably priced. As far as I can tell, Fell Communications spends next to zero money on ads or marketing of any type, relying solely on word of mouth. And the mouth words are good. Very, very good. This results in a massive savings as a company. Then they, uh, I guess, pass that savings on to us, the customers. It's why they don't have to price their products out of reach of us peasants. Speak for yourself. What's, what's that? I say, speak 
for yourself. Ah, uh, right. I've been neglecting to uh, introduce you to an old friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Artemis Meadowlark. There, I uh, made you a promise, and I have now fulfilled my oath to you. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come around here? Why don't you come around here and say hi? I'll take these off. Get out of your way. Hello! <clears throat> I am Artemis Meadowlark, but I have also been known as Artemis the Ancient One. Artemis is an expert in pretty much all things. Well, <clears throat> when one grows as old as I have, one tends to pick up a thing or two. About these, um, pluggy mics. Yes, well, <clears throat> I like them. Perfect for ambience, recording, and even, as the younglings say, ASMR. Is that correct, ASMR? Well, of course it is. All righty then. Well, I'm off for now. I've got to practice spell casting to transmute old VHS tapes into buttered popcorn. It's what I like to call cinema alchemy. I'm, uh, I'm rewatching The Hobbit. Toodaloo, peasant! <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. <sighs> oh, uh, I think we'll be seeing a lot more of Artemis in the future since he's been crashing at my place. Well, my castle is currently being renovated, <laughs> so there's that. There is that. Anyway, I fully recommend the pluggy mics. I know. What a shocker, eh? I only recommend things here. I'm starting to turn down mics now. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just waste your time if I'm showing you a junk mic. You know what I mean? And these guys, uh, you know, <laughs> they do a good job. I mean, listen to these things. I mean, I know it's Omni, but pff, they're like clippies, but much easier to handle. I mean, think about it. You just take them anywhere, plug them into your XLR cables, and just and go. Or... You can plug them on either end of your recorder and you've got yourself the most compact ever way of doing things. They're cute, they're small, they sound fabulous. I think I might like them more than the Clippies. Much easier to mount, clean and sensitive, full ranged sound. They're perfect to throw in your field recording kit and just go. As to which do I prefer between the Basic Uko and the Pluggies, I think I like them each for different reasons, but it's good to know that the pluggies are always in stock. I mean, they're always in stock. I mean, I hope they are, but the, so far I've never seen them out of stock personally. So that's good. And that's kind of a leg up on the basic uko. Um, and also the basic ukos are a bit thinner sounding and uh, you know, the pluggies have that really nice, thick, full low end and not so brittle on the top. However, with the basic Uko, you know, there are a lot of applications that those will come in handy. Um, you, you can't go wrong with either of them, but uh, yeah, I like I like the sound of uh, the pluggies uh, just a bit more. So that just about does it for me. And me. I'm your friend till the end. Bye now. End transmission. Do the focus. The focus. Give the focus. There we go. Hi. Oh yes, watch these other ones. They're very good. Oh yes, 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 very good. Oh ho, yes, oh ho. Good, 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 good. All right, bye bye.